all right guys welcome back to my channel um so there's been a lot of drama in the market over the past couple of weeks right bitcoin went to as low as eighteen thousand. i can't remember if it got up to seventeen thousand. now so i'll quickly check um btc so just in case you're watching this video and this is the first time you're experiencing this kind of crash in the market um i just want to say a big welcome if you've been following our channel you know we've been using this this exact chat right and all these lines are lines we drew a long time ago these different these different um lines actually shows the different support that are in the market now it also doesn't mean that we have a magic ball uh, that we use to accurately predict the market no we just have simple rules and trading is all about speculation right so um uh, this support we drew right was where bitcoin actually bounced off from which is about 17 seven seventeen seven nine nine which is about approximately seventy eight hundred dollars so this is the all-time bitcoin support and um if bitcoin falls below here then we should see bitcoin around nine nine to ten thousand dollars so the chances of this happening is extremely low because we've had uh several crashes and just for the record this crash is way bigger than the crash we had last year around um april may uh, sorry between march and march and april so this um the crash last time just fell from this point from 64,000 to about 30,000 that's more than 50 percent crash while this crash fell from 68,000 to about 18,000 that's more than 70 percent drop in price so it's not the first time this is happening and if you go back to history and check whenever whenever there's a there's a there's a fall in price see between back in 2017 um the price moved from let me move it to the let me see if i can zoom in a little bit around here okay now see the price moved from five thousand dollars to almost twenty thousand dollars and fell down to three thousand dollars all right so it fell down to around the same period um range so let me draw an horizontal line there that cuts across everywhere right so it rose from this top went to night about almost twenty thousand dollars and came down to about four thousand dollars so it's a normal trend and of course at this period right i lost i lost um i'm not exaggerating uh, i lost more than 95 percent of my money and then the painful part about this crash was that it stayed down for a very long time so um i don't even want to talk about it so the main point is what we got to 20 th um so almost twenty thousand dollars and crashed down to this point which is about three thousand dollars the market you know you know was just going sideways up until um 2021 when it moved from this low amount to um about sixty four thousand dollars which is how many x this is 20 this is that's like 300 percent um gain in price all my calculations are right right uh so after you know the market will always crash right it might happen once in two years or happen once in three years but once it crashes right there's a sorry three thousand percent increase in price not oh, 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 my mouse is correct um um three hundred percent increase in price so after every crash several months later or several years later we're going to see the price of crypto go as high as i've never seen before meaning it's going to hit a, a price that has never gotten before so after this crash it got to a price we've never seen before after this crash it got to a price we've never seen before 
In fact, this 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 price here is higher than this price here. This price here is higher than this price here. So we've got this crash, and then after the crash, after this crash, we got a price we never seen before. Now we've seen a harder a, a harder crash. Harder crash comes with higher prices, right? So now the the question is, where are we going to see a at all time high of seventy to seventy five thousand dollars? The truth is nobody knows the exact time, right? So that's why I keep telling people, buy as much as you can, right? DC dollar cost average, buy every single day, right? As 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 much as you can get some some funds to just keep buying daily. All right, so I want to check into the news, but some people keep still keep asking me, Sam, is there any chance that crypto will recover? Well, I have a way of answering such questions. Um, should they sell? So here's how best I can answer this question. Um, first off, we need to know why we we all came into the cryptocurrency space. Why we start? Sorry, why we started um, buying cryptocurrencies? So let's let's now until the fundamentals about cryptocurrencies change or changes, then you shouldn't sell everything, right? And of course, that's not the financial advice. So let's take a look at the fundamentals once, once more. So this fundamental was posted here in Bitcoin Talk way back in 2015. This is the date or the year rather. So uh, these are the traits of the three most popular forms of money we have. So we have gold, uh, we have fiat, we have crypto. Right, so fungibility, how easy it is to change, right? So it's high for all of them. Now, non-consumable is not, is according to this chart, is high for all of them. But I think I have another one that, that does it even way better. Well, let's just stick to this because I decided to use this because it's the oldest one, okay? Moving on, portability. If you have one million dollars in gold, how easy is it for you to move the one million dollars? Can you can you put it fix it into your pocket? The answer is no. You can't do that. Previously, before now, you can't do that with fiat, but with the uh, with the rise of internet banking, you can actually move one million dollars, and it's it's high here also. But um. Uh, let me use the word transferability. Okay, no, we'll, we'll get there. So uh, that's for portability. Durability, um, for gold, um, it's high here for durable because it's very durable. Uh, of course, you know, gold is very hard, hard to crack. And um, for fiat, you can easily tear paper money, right? Why for crypto, uh, using Bitcoin as an example, is extremely hard to to um to hack Bitcoin, so that's why the durability here is high for all. Highly divisible, right? Gold. If you have a chunk or a chunk of gold, and I come to you saying I need one dollar to get something done. Question: How can you easily fetch me one dollar from the chunk of gold you have? It's almost impossible, right? It's almost impossible. So. Uh, that's why um, for for bit for Bitcoin for gold is moderate. Why for fiat is um why for fiat is also moderate because you can easily just move fiat. For crypto is extremely high. You can send somebody one dollar worth of crypto, and then I know some people some people might, some people might be like, well, for Bitcoin, if I'm to move one dollar, I might end end up paying up to ten dollars worth of fees well there are other cryptocurrencies that have worked on that issue and right now you can even move some you can even move one dollar without paying a fee on a blockchain but this is not a video for that secure cannot be counterfeited of course we all know you, you can easily counterfeit gold you can easily counterfeit fiat which is paper money but you can easily counterfeit bitcoin there is no fake bitcoin in the world moving on easily transactable you can easily transact with gold what was the last time you went somewhere and then you bought something with gold or what was the last time you made a payment with gold i've never in my life right i'm more than 30 years old i'm actually more than 32 years old well 31 <laughs> anyways i've never in my life made it made it, uh, a gold transaction 
right um but i've done um a a crypto transaction i've done fiat and crypto transaction right but i believe uh crypto transaction is way higher than fiat transaction because there are some countries you go um i mean nigeria no um when i went to dubai all right there was no place to spend my naira which is the the the, the currency of my country right but i could easily spend us dollar so we can say is uh fiat is easily transactable because fiat here represents the whole fiat currencies while us dollar is just to let us know is a type of fiat currency so bitcoin has way higher here so scarce how scarce it is gold is not really gold is more really scarce compared to fiat and bitcoin is highly scarce govern uh that in terms of government issued of course we know um it's not issued by the government and this one the white gold is issued by god himself so decentralization bitcoin is obviously way more decentralized right government cannot easily shut it down because government is not the one issuing it smart programmable you cannot program gold you cannot program um fiat so as you can see um now there's there there are some other traits that bitcoin has as i here and, and let me even mention the most obvious one censorship resistance if you have uh, this government around the world are introducing what they call cbdc where um every form of money there will be no paper form of money uh, all the fiat will move digital where you have inera and the rest now see the case of inera if you have if you have one million in your bank account and for some reason there was a there was a bad news about you even or maybe even a false news about you the government can move to close your account yep the government can move to close your account and once they close your account you're done for you can't make any transaction whatsoever because with a click of a button all your accounts can be shut down you can't move any money because everything is now digital previously when we had paper money you know you could actually you know if your account is blocked let's say you have one million six hundred thousand in the bank and four hundred thousand um um outside uh, pay paper money while your account is blocked with the six hundred thousand you can actually uh, use the four hundred thousand paper money you have to make transaction but with the introduction of cbdc that is gone forever but if your money is in cryptocurrency most especially in well decentralized cryptocurrency you have your freedom of owning your money forever now as long as these fundamentals are still true now this low here it shouldn't be red it should be green because you know we don't care whether it's issued by the government right we still love it as this well as long as these fundamentals are still true you have no bit no issue selling your bitcoin so while the price is going down i know for sure i don't i don't need i don't need to give you guys all the proof in the world if i don't really need to give anybody any proof but i can tell you this is pure market manipulation you know why because whoever controls the money controls the people and the rich guys and government around the world they know this quote i just told you whoever controls the world controls the people so in order for them to make sure that they can control you they can control crypto they have to make sure they crash the market buy into the market and then have control one of the biggest names that works with the government that has come into the crypto space and that is still coming to the crypto space is BlackRock. And this is not the video where I'm going to talk about BlackRock. But whenever I hear the name BlackRock, read a lot, read a lot. BlackRock planning to offer crypto trading. BlackRock launches its first crypto. BlackRock has, has almost 400 million invested in Bitcoin mining. So before you sell, sell your crypto, think about these fundamentals. As long as the fundamentals have not changed, as long as the government can still censor your money, crypto is the future. All right, guys, tell me what you think, and please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. See ya.